Element 3D supports native After Effects lights as well, along with the preset lights that comes with the Element 3D itself. So over here, in order to work with the native lights, I have my Element 3D object right here, the paint bucket. So I'm going to apply some light switch. So I'm going to right click over here and go to new. And over here, you'll be able to see light on the layer. And in the light, you can see there are different types of light. There's spotlight, there's parallel light, point light, and ambient light. So let us start with a parallel light. And I'm going to press OK. Once you do that, you can see that there's the parallel light, light right here. Let me just go into selection. And you can see that you can move this around just like this. So if I were to zoom out, you can see that this, this is the source of the parallel light. I can move it up, down, or left. So I can go over here. I can move it up if I want to. Parallel light is a light blasting off uh, a single um, a, a single direction right here. So let me just go into four views right here so that I can see my light more clearly. So I can bring my light upward and as you can see. So my light is actually going on in this direction. So I can move this down and you can see that the light changes happen on the main object right here, just like that. I can also move the light object left or right so I can move it uh, to the right just like this and move around the light so now the light seems as if it is coming mm, a bit from the left just like this so that is parallel light another type of light is I can just double click this and change it out into something like a spotlight so spotlight is when uh, it seems as if you're on a stage so let me bring this closer as you can see and you can see that the spot cone actually comes up so I'm going to reduce the spot cone right here so I'm going to uh, decrease the cone feather let me just increase or decrease the cone feather no, all right that all right so I don't have any cone feather right here let me just decrease the cone angle and you can see that there's the spotlight in action so I can move it up or down and you can see that certain portion of light actually uh, appears on the object itself so that is what spotlight can do another type of light is there and that's the point light so let me just go over here. Point light are simply like a room light. So uh, it, it seems as if the light is coming off from a point, just like when a bulb is on inside a room. So you can go over here and even change the color if you want to. So I'm going to go over here, change it into a bit of a reddish color right here. And that's the point light right there. And finally, there's the fourth type of light. This is the ambient light that is it covers up all of the objects so it seems like a light coming off from all directions so you want to give it a tint something like a blue tint or a green tint then you can actually do that so i'm going to go give it uh, give the object a green tint and you can see that ambient light lights up everything else so you can use a combination of these different lights to come up with a unique creation so i'm going to go over here to parallel light right here and i have this red shininess of light just like that so I can move this around. So I'm going to select the ambient light right here. And you can see that this is the ambient light right here. This is the ambient light. I can move it around to, oh, sorry, this is the camera. So you can see that this is the parallel light right here. And this one is the ambient light. So I'm going to go into parallel light. I can move it around just like this and change it to come up with different objects just like this. So you can control the whole light source. I can also go on to uh, spotlight. So I'm going to create a new light right here. I'm going to create spot. And over here, I'm going to select this color right here. Press OK. And there you go. It's the spotlight right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it around just like this. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to move this around. Right? Move it to this side right here and then maybe the spotlight comes from the side just like this and you can see the spotlight effect is there and let me go back to one view right here and you can see that this is my object let's go to fit back into 100 percent and this is what my object looks like just like that so you can go over here just like this zoom it in right see it around and you can see that this is an object with the unique light sources. So you can see that I can add in some drama onto the object, just like that. So this is without the lights, plain text, uh, plain old 3D model, and these are with the light and some interesting effect, just like that. So that is how you can work with lights 
for element 3d by using after effects hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe